For a second straight day, Russia escalated its war to conquer Ukraine with new missile strikes, including on this building in Zaporizhia. It came just hours before the emergency meeting of the G7, where Ukraine's President Zelensky had one main request, more air defenses. Zelensky saying if Ukraine gets them, Russian missile strikes will cease to work. It follows Russia's strikes on Monday hitting civilian areas with dozens of long-range cruise missiles and drones on a scale not seen since the initial invasion nearly a year ago. A college student was filming a video message in a park in Kyiv when first she heard the sound of incoming. Then a missile exploded nearby. In Lviv, a dash camera caught a Russian missile striking a power station, causing blackouts in parts of the city. Russia attacked at least 12 districts, according to Ukrainian officials, several for the first time in months. Moscow says its latest barrage is retaliation after this weekend's attack on the only bridge linking the Russian mainland to occupied Crimea. Russian media say Ukrainian intelligence detonated a truck bomb and damaged the bridge. Without directly claiming credit, Ukrainians are reveling in the attack issuing a stamp within hours of the blast, which soon became street art, celebrating President Putin's beloved bridge in flames. Richard, as we have just seen, these have been wide-scale Russian attacks. What's the reaction in Ukraine? Very revealing. When the last time we saw attacks on this scale was at the start of the war, when millions of Ukrainians fled the country. But Ukrainians, it seems, are no longer afraid. I just came into the country today. I saw no Ukrainians leaving the country. Instead, hundreds of thousands of Russians have been escaping their country to avoid the draft. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.